All right. God bless you. Good morning. Or good afternoon, whatever time you may be viewing this telecast. You know, in our in our churches, when you have a program or a certain, you know, program and things in our church, well, special. Special program. Regular, regular, what we call regular service, you only have one scripture read. But with special program, you have Old Testament scripture, New Testament scripture. Some will read the Old Testament scripture, some will read New Testament scripture. Well, we don't read Old Testament scripture. Now, there's nothing wrong with reading Old Testament scripture and New Testament scripture. What is Old Testament scripture? God worded from everlasting to everlasting. Old Testament scripture is the law of Moses, the old covenant, the law. Sabbath day, tithes offering, circumcision, priest tabernacle. Read Hebrew chapter 9 and get the whole setup of the Old Testament, the Old Covenant. Yeah, we read David, make a job of the Lord all you let. Uh, that ain't no Old Testament. You fool. Y'all have sense enough to do that. Is he that made us not wear ourselves? Uh, but that's what God is from everlasting to everlasting. But the covenant was from Moses to Jesus. Uh, well, uh, John rather. Moses to John. The Bible says the law and the prophet was until John. Then the kingdom is preached. Well, bless the Lord. Now, Old Testament scripture is not how you turn from your idol. There ain't no, no Old Testament scripture. They're from everlasting. God said, have no other God before me. Don't serve other gods. That guy, that, that not no, no time frame there. But the law is. So, now it's all right if you read Old Testament scripture, which is keeping up the law and uh, keeping the Sabbath day and keeping, giving your offering and your first fruit and your priest and your tabernacle and God is in his holy temple and all the earth keeps silent before him and all that kind of thing. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and to his court with praise. Well, that's Old Testament. Because we're not in the gates and we're not in the courts. Because we're not in the temple. I know, I know, I know. I want to mess up your theology. Uh, on the Lord with the first fruit. That's Old Testament. Bring all the time to the storehouse. That's Old Testament. Animal sacrifices, the altar, that's Old Testament. The priest, that's Old Testament. Glory to God. You see, you, you, you see, I'm getting ready to read something to you. Now it's all right if you read the Old Testament, which is, Scripture is to be followed and obeyed. Old Testament Scripture then come and read where the scripture was fulfilled in the New Testament and is no longer. Christ is in the law for righteousness. Before, well, Lord, let me go there. I want Romans chapter 10. Glory to God. Romans 
Romans chapter number 10. And verse 1. Brethren, my heart desire and of God is real that they may be saved. For better represent the heaven seal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they be little God right, they're going about to establish their own righteousness, and have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law of righteousness. That's it. Christ is the end of the law. They still going by the law. You still going by the law, you said. Christ is the end of the law of righteousness. Tell everyone that believe it. Believe. Don't break no offering. Don't go to no priest. Don't go to no tabernacle. Believe. Ain't nobody going behind no hole in the hole. They call the veil was red. Believe Christ Jesus. So take away your sin. What the law could do. Watch it. Verse 6. For Moses described in righteousness. Yeah, 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 yeah. For Moses. Roman 10 5. For Moses described righteousness which is of the law. That a man which doeth these things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speak on this wise. Say not in the house you have ascended the head there to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend to the deep that is to bring Christ up again from the dead. For what said did the word is not thee in thy mouth, in thy heart, the word of faith, which we preach. You see the two differences? Now, we don't read Old Testament scripture. Second, someone at me last night, Dunlap, do you tie? No, I don't tie. Because I'm a Christ. And I'm saved. And I ain't going about this that my own right. And I'm not even God right. Second Corinthians chapter 3. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Let me get my time here. Verse 7. Second Corinthians 3 said. But if, wait a minute, 3 6, 2 Corinthians 3 3 6, 3, well, 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 th uh, 3 3, 2 Corinthians 3 3, for as much as ye are manifest the glad to be the epistle of Christ, ministered by us, we minister Christ to you and nobody else. Written not with ye, but with the spirit of a living God, not in table of stone. But in flesh and table of the heart, for such trust have we through Christ to God word. Uh -huh. What the time looking like? Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. Huh. Who had made a God, God that read, I preach the way I do and preach the New Testament and preach Christ and don't preach the law and bold about it and don't even flinch. You can't move me. It because God has made us able ministers of the New Testament. Not of the letter. That's the Old Testament. But of the Spirit. But the letter kill it. That's the Old Testament. But the Spirit giving life. But if the administration of death written and engraved in stone were glorious. So that the children of Israel could not stand fast and behold the face of Moses. For the glory of his, of his countenance, which glory was to be done away. How shall not the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? For his administration of condemnation and glory. And the law condemn you. Your tithe and all condemn you. Show to you had sin. Much more does the ministration of the righteous, righteous exceed in glory. Remember the law didn't make it right, but Jesus did. For even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excelled it. If that which is done away was glorious, much more than which remained it is glorious. The law gone. Seeing we have such great hope, we use great plain to speak. We preach plain. No 
No special revelation knowledge. Plain, where you can understand, we ain't talking in no tongue. It was plain. And not as Moses, who had put the veil over his face that seriously could not step back and look at the end which, which was to be abolished. They couldn't see the end. But we use plain in the speech. I know I ain't no 18 minutes. We use plain in the speech. But their minds were blinded for when Moses came down and gave the law. But their mind were blinded, even until this day remained the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament. Whenever you read the Old Testament, bring your tithe, bring your offering, keep Sabbath day, uh, uh, circumcise, uh, go to the pre, uh, go to a certain place. When you read the Old Testament, you say you got to obey the Old Testament, you got to obey the law. The law is good. The, 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 the law ain't over. The law is good. The veil over your face, you're blind. With the veil is taken away in Christ. Remain that same un, veil untaken in reading the Old Testament. The veil over your face, you blind. Which veil is taken away in Christ? But in Christ, you're not. But even to this day, when Moses is read, the veil is of all their heart. The veil over your heart. When tithe offering priest, Sabbath day, first fruit offering, priest, tabernacle, the veil over your heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, when you turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Now, the Lord, that spirit is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. We don't, we don't preach Old Testament scripture. With me, don't obey the law. Thank you for viewing. God bless you. Now, God commanded, thou shalt not kill. There ain't no Old Testament scripture. That God law. You better ask Cain. Sissy, homosexual, lesbian, uh, adultery, uh, that God law. That always was. You better ask somebody. But the covenant, the law, bringing sacrifices, all that kind of thing, that whole setup. All right, thank you for hearing.